Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com. Um, I wanted to let you know that I am working on my Dragon's uh, Body armi Armature. Um, I, I actually worked on this armature uh, for a couple of days, made one that I really, really hated, took it all apart, uh, and now I'm about uh, maybe a third of the way towards getting another armature made. Um, I found this um, wooden sawhorse at Lowe's and I thought that might help uh, make a more solid armature than the foam leg idea that I, I had uh, to start with. Uh, so I went ahead and bought it. I um, did a lot of work on it and it just didn't come out very nice. <laughs> so, so let me show you uh, kind of the basic process that I used just to get it, um, the, the first armature together. Then I'll show you what a mess it was taking it apart <laughs> and, and um, redoing it. Um, as soon as it starts it stops raining outside, I'll go ahead and finish this guy up and then maybe by next week I'll actually have a dragon with a head stuck on and everything. That would be pretty cool. So let me go ahead and show you how this was, uh, or how, how the first one was done. This is what the sawhorse looked like before I started chopping it up. Um, I'm also using duct tape for no particular reason. You could use masking tape like I usually do. This is the construction paper that I used. I'm yammering on about something or other here in the video. I can't remember what. Um, I turned off the, the sound portion of all these clips. Um, the brown paper is basically the same kind of paper that, um, that grocery stores um, bags are made out of. This is the little drawing that I did. It was just a really, really basic sketch, and I actually ended up changing it because I didn't like those uh, really short front legs. Um, I put the sawhorse just right on top of the one-inch foam board. It's an insulation board. Cost I think it was thirteen dollars. Uh, the sawhorse was about twenty-one dollars. Um, and then once I had the sawhorse drawn on there, I just took my pen and made a freehand sketch. I put the head on there just so I can kind of get a feel for it, but in the end, this first version, um, the body was actually too big for the head. I didn't like it, and it was too close to the ground. The, the legs were too short in front. I just, I just didn't care for it. It was too heavy, but um, it was a start. Then um, once it was all drawn out, I started cutting it. I'm just using a box cutter. It wasn't nearly as messy as I thought it would be. I thought I'd have little pieces of styrofoam all over the um, uh, front porch, but it really wasn't all that bad. And um, then once the um, pieces were cut out, I had to um, decide exactly where I want the sawhorse to sit so that I could, because I had to cut out a, a piece so that I could slip it over the top of the sawhorse and then put the bot, you know, put the belly back in underneath. Um, so in that part of the process too, it got a little bit messed up because it, it got even shorter as you can see. Those front legs just are really, really short now. Um, I thought about making him kneeling, um, you know, doggy play stance kind of a thing, but he rejected that entirely. <laughs> it just didn't look like a dragon at all. So then I started um, adding some paper. Like I said, I'm using that really heavy construction paper. Um, and the reason I'm using it instead of newspaper, the only reason I'm using it is that because it's heavy, you can crumple it up and leave a lot of airspace inside. And it's still fairly um, firm. And that way, uh, it's not as heavy as it would be if I had crumpled uh, newspaper up and squished it on there really tight. At this point, um, I have the body all done, and now I have to start working on that neck because um, you don't want to just totally, you know, straight from one end of his nose to his tail. That'd be kind of boring. So at this point, um, I've got most of the paper on there except for the legs and the tail, and I just kind of put the head on there to get an idea of whether or not I liked it. Already I don't, um, but I just kept working on it anyway in hopes that I could make it work anyway. Uh, I made the back a lot higher for one thing. And um, filled out the legs, um, 
kind of bumpy looking. I just really, really didn't like it. And then I brought it inside and I um, did a little bit of video telling you exactly why I didn't like it. <laughs> Since I went ahead and made it, I decided to go ahead and show that part to you too. It doesn't look any better on the inside of the house than he did on the outside. Um, the head is too small because the body is too heavy and it's too wide and uh, the legs are too thick and I just didn't like it. So after I did that little video telling you um, why I didn't like it and that I thought I might take it apart, I just took him right back outside and started chopping. I took all the paper off, but um, I left it uh, attached to that uh, foam pattern as much as I could. I didn't want to do all of the taping all over again. Uh, I did cut the sawhorse in half and then nail it back together at a slight angle. This shortened the back a lot and it gave the uh, dragon a little bit of a twist in his body. One of the big problems I was having with him is that he was just sitting there so flat and straight. Even with the curve in the neck and the tail, it was still just not lively enough. I didn't like it. Then I put the body back on the sawhorse. Um, as you can see, I hope I also made the legs a lot narrower. Um, and I put the body higher on the sawhorse so that there's a lot more space in between the, uh, the body and the ground. There is also going to be uh, more of a chest when it's done. I don't want a snake looking uh, dragon, um, but I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I like the way the um, the back curves just a little bit now um, so that he doesn't have that solid straightforward stance. Um, my original drawing way back when I first started this had actually had my dragon uh, standing up on his hind legs. Um, that just wasn't going to work. He was going to fall over the first time somebody breathed on him. But um, this way it's you know not quite as dynamic as my original design but uh, at least it has a little bit of movement going on. So now this is as far as I've got. Um, he's a lot lighter. He needs obviously uh, his chest has to come down farther, uh, a lot farther. I don't want a snake looking dragon because this is not a snake looking head. Um, it could have been if I had put the neck uh, coming from the, you know, from here, which is the way snakes put their heads on their necks. This is a, a head like a horse, so. I don't want I don't want my dragon to look too uh, snaky. It just it just wouldn't quite work with the head that I already made. Um, obviously, he has to have legs. The legs are going to be a lot thinner, more svelte, I guess you could say. Um, I don't want him looking like a dachshund, so his, his chest is going to come down this way. Then this will be a nice um, tall hump for the back. Um, I will probably put some very small uh, wings. On here, nothing that would hold him up, but um, you know, wings nonetheless, just to to break up some of that space. I'm I'm not completely sure I'm going to do that yet, but I'm I'm thinking about it. Um, the head will be be looking. If I don't know if I can, if you can see him, it'll be like. Now you can't see it. Um, the head will be looking backwards. So he has some some nice curves now that I changed the. Um, the wood. It's quite solid. I still don't know if it would be a good thing in a, you know, in a preschool type situation, but it's a whole lot stronger than the, uh, than the foam legs that I intended to make when I first started planning this out. So I do think that the decision to use the wooden sawhorse was a good one, but it needed a lot more um, uh, changes to it than I did the first time around. I, and I still probably will cut this uh, up just to get rid of that sharp point. Which means that it won't be as strong as it was when I first bought it, obviously, especially since I cut it in the middle. So there's going to be a lot of you know, structural things that are not quite as, as solid as they could have been. But it's still a lot better than it, <laughs> than it would have been if I made the legs out of foam. Um, so that's it for today. <laughs> Um, it's raining outside now and I can't work on this inside. It's just too messy. Um, I will be 
working on it though off and on this week and um, I will be coming back with you <laughs> so to let you see how he's coming along. If you've uh, started a dragon, please let us know. We want to uh, see what you're doing and um, kind of learn from each other. This is going to be a really fun project if we can get some people going on it and uh, get some dragons out in the world. I think that'd be really fun. So come visit me and watch and watch for the next video. Um, come visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.